Hello, everyone. We have made a video for compiling the XE, so here we will show you the details. First, open Botches Editor software. Here, firstly, we will compile the module as an example. Click New Module button. Input the module name, and we name it Compile1. After finish all, click OK. Now, click Variable Manager button to add some variables for this module, and it will be easy for us to introduce it later. Input the first variable name, and we name it user name. Here is no need to set something for it, so click Add. Then input the second variable name, as before we do, we name it Password, and then click Add. Finally, add the last variable Proxy. Here select global variable for it. And then click add. Note, why do we need to select global variable option for this variable? In the next operation, you will understand why we need do this. Besides, you still can add more variables for this module, because of the limitation of time. These three variables are enough for us to introduce the function. Now, in the developer tools, click compile module. Here, click Import Module button to add the module we added just now to this interface. Here, you can change the module's name to what you want. See, three variables we added just now for this module. Click Set button to change its name, and in the main interface you will also get the changed name. In this place, only the proxy variable is displaced. Because when adding this variable we select the global variable option for it, and we have emphasized this function before. Here is no data now, so we need to add an end action for this module. Right click this module, and then select end action. Here, select these two variables, and then click save. Now, open Compile Module button again like we do before. See, these two variables have been displayed. Check these options. This option is to allow the users to save the results to CSV file. Now, click Software Settings. Input the name for the software title. Here, select the name for the software. Here are two options that you can choose, and it is up to your favor. Click this button to select an output path for saving your software. Click this button to select an icon for your software. There are three options that you can choose, here we do not think that it is needed for us to waste more time to introduce it so it is totally up to your favor. Here are two options, when you click this one, input the URL in this text box. When select this one, input an email account in this text box. Here, when you check this option, you need to click this to log in in your budget account. After got the information, fill in it here and it is to avoid abusing the software by others. Of course, you also can ignore this. Now, all the things we have done successfully, so click Compile to save it. Find this software we created just now, and then run it.
Here set some value for these variables. Now, the proxy variable is not needed just now, so we do not set value for it. Click Global Run. In this pop-up form, you can set some options for your running process. After set all, and then click OK. That is all for compiling the module. Now we will compile the project simply and the operation is very similar with the module. Click New Project button. Input the project name, and we name it Compile2. Here, right-click Forms node to add a new form for this project. Input a name for this form, and we name it 1. Select the project. Here select the form 1 for it, and then click Save. Now, right-click one, and then select Edit Action. Here, you can adjust the size of this form to what you want. We will grab three labels, three text boxes and two buttons for this form. Of course you still can add more controls for your form. Now, get names for these controls, select it, and here input the name for it one by one. Besides you also can get a name for the form. After set all, click save. Now, click compile project button. Here, input a name for the software. Here are two options that you can choose, and it is up to your favor. Click this button to select an output path for saving your software. Click this button to select an icon for your software. There are three options that you can choose, here we do not waste more time to introduce it. So you can select it by your favor. Here, when you check this option, you need to click this to log in in your Bajif account. We have introduced this function before, so here we will do not introduce it again. Of course, you also can ignore this. Now, all the things we have done successfully, so click Compile. It shows up this form, because we have checked the Add License option, so we need to uncheck it. Click the Compile button again. Now, Find this software we created just now, and then run it.
See, it is the form that created by us just now. That is all. Thanks for watching.